Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. Before we get started with today's video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. I recently ran into an issue where I was experiencing abnormally slow internet speeds, but it was only on my Windows computer. So my phone, my Mac laptop, my PS5, they were all completely fine getting normal internet speeds. But on Windows, I was having like really slow download speeds. And I was just experiencing some weird issues. And I recently found a solution that helped to fix this. What we're going to do in this video is run a series of commands inside of the command prompt on Windows. We're basically going to reset a few things inside of our network settings and hopefully this will help to get those speeds to return to normal. Now before we get into the actual tutorial there are a few things worth mentioning. Number one we'd recommend using a service like speedtest.net to actually test your internet's speed itself. Speedtest.net will measure the upload and download speed of your internet and this can be sort of a reference for how you might expect your PC to perform. This isn't going to give you an exact value for how your computer is going to perform but for example if you have 500 megabit download speed on speedtest and you have a 20 megabit download download speed on your PC, that could indicate an issue. It's also important to make sure you're using the correct hardware. For example, certain internet cables, such as Cat5 cables, those might be limiting the speed of your internet if you're using a wired connection. And another thing worth pointing out is to go ahead and check your drivers. So checking your Wi-Fi and Ethernet drivers inside of Device Manager is always a good thing just to make sure that that is up to date and working properly. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into our command prompt solutions. All right, guys, so here we are on the PC once again. I'm gonna hit the start menu and let's type CMD and we're gonna right click on this and we want to run as administrator. We're gonna have this pop up and let's hit yes. All right, so here we are inside of the command prompt. Let's go ahead and start entering the commands one by one. All right, so we're also gonna leave these commands in the description box below to make it easy to paste those in. It's important to make sure you enter the command exactly as it is because any typos or errors in spacing will make the command not work as intended. So we'll go ahead and paste our first command. We can see we have an okay message, meaning that this has been received by the command prompt. With that, we can go ahead and move on to our second command. All right, here's our second command. And again, we're returning an okay, telling us that that has been received. And let's go ahead and move on to the third command now. All right, and we've just pasted our third command. That was net sh int tcp set global rss enabled. Let's move on to the next one. All right, and this one's gonna be net sh winsock reset. We wanna see the message here, successfully reset the winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. We're gonna continue running the commands and then we will restart the computer at the very end. All right, let's paste in the next command here. That command was net sh int ip reset. Here we're getting a log of everything that happened after we ran that command. Again, we have a note to restart the computer, but there's just a few more commands that we're gonna run first. Now we're gonna do the IP config commands. So we're gonna start with IP config forward slash release. Next up, let's do IP config forward slash renew. Okay, and then we're getting a log there showing us that all of this is working. And the last one is gonna be IP config forward slash flush DNS. Okay, and we can see that we've successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. All right, so we can go ahead and close down the command prompt. And then let's go ahead and click our Windows start menu, power and restart. Now, after completing those steps, hopefully any issues that you were having specific to your Windows computer have been resolved. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we covered, please drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If there are specific videos that you'd like to see, we strongly encourage you to comment those down below. Most commented viewer requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.